Hello everyone, welcome to VLSA Academy. This is 11th lecture and today we will learn about pattern matching in Perl. Regular expression in Perl is a special text string for describing a search pattern within a given text. Before jumping on to regular expressions, we should first look at split function. Split function is used to cut a string into smaller section or pieces. There are different criteria to split a string. It could be based on spaces, slashes or commas. For example, if there is a variable line which contains the string value, this is a sentence. And if you split it with spaces, the syntax of command is something like this, which will split the variable based on the string. That is, whenever it encounters spaces, it will store that element into an array. Now, when you print the variable line, the output will be original string value. Now, since we define one variable called array, which has got all string values split based on spaces, when we print the first element of array, it will be this. When we try printing the second variable, it will be is. Now let's understand match operator which returns 1 if match is found and 0 if match is not found. The syntax of match operator is as follows. To print this matched pattern and the remaining string, arm operator provides various operators which include three types as follows. So dollar ampersand will give you exact match and dollar then this is called as tilde will give you everything before the match and then dollar apostrophe s which is opposite of the tilde in the direction it will contains everything after the matched string so it will give you everything that is present after the match these operators come very handy when writing the code now let's see one example for this let's assume there is a string variable with value Perl tutorials by VLSI Academy now to apply match operator one way to do is this like this dollar string is equal to then tilde match operator and then we are matching with by now when we write the statement let's say print before dollar tilde and then slash in next time so dollar tilde this operator what it will do is it will match with by in this string and whatever is there before this it will be printing so Perl tutorials will be the output if you try to print this statement okay and now let's say we want to print dollar ampersand so it will give you exact match so output will be by and if let's say you try to print then dollar apostrophe yes what will happen is it will match everything which is matching after this it will print that so VLSA Academy is after by it will match with by and it will print everything after that. So output will be VLSI Academy. Now let us move on to substitution operator. As the name suggests, it substitute the text with the matched string. It is an extension of match operator that allows you to replace the text matched with some new text. The syntax of substitution operator is like this. Here S stands for substitution and then you have to provide the pattern and then you have to give the replacement which you want to replace with. Let's see it with some example here. Assume that we have a string with value VLSI Academy is university. Now let's first print the initial string for the record. So to do that you have to write like this. Output will be initial string then string values VLSI Academy is university. Let's say the requirement is to replace this university substring with online platform. To do that all you have to do is after S, you have to specify the pattern which will be university here and then replacement will be online platform. So how will we write? We write like this S then university then online platform. It will replace this university with online platform. So when we print final string, it will be updated string with VLSI Academy's online platform. So output will be final string VLSI Academy's online platform. Let us see one small example of transliteration operator in Perl before we finish off this tutorial. Transliterate operator is extension of substitution operator. The limitation of substitution operator is that you can only substitute the first occurrence of match and not the others. The beauty of transliterate operator is that it can replace all occurrences of the match found. And the syntax of the substitution and transliterate operator are very similar. You just have to replace here S 
with the TR and the syntax is exactly same. Let's quickly look at one example. Let's assume the string is here 1001. So here triple zero, if you want to replace only one zero with let's say nine, then you can write with substitution operator like this. What it will give you? It will give you one nine double zero one. So first match it has replaced with nine from zero to nine. But let's say if you wanted to replace all and you don't even know where the zeros are, you don't need to care the location. You just have to write like this tr zero slash nine. So it will give you one triple nine one. Even if you have to use s, then you have to specify all the zeros with nine. So that can be a little tedious and this transliteration operator will come very handy at that point of time. That's all for this video. Please give your feedback and views in comment section. Share the videos with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.